Hello and welcome back. Today we are going to enable and set up Unity Catalog for our Databricks workspace. Now we know that in order to set up Unity Catalog, first thing that we need to create is a meta store. So if I go to the catalog tab in my accounts console, you can see there is no meta store created right now. So first we need to create a meta store because meta store is the top level container in case of a Unity Catalog. Now, once we create this meta store, then we can go ahead and assign this meta store to our workspace in order to enable Unity Catalog. Now, before we go ahead and create this meta store, we need to see one more thing. So if I go to my Databricks workspace and to the catalog tab, you can see there is only one catalog available now, which is Hive Metastore. So there are no other catalogs and even we don't have option to create catalogs because catalogs are the second level in the hierarchy of the object model. So first we need to create our Metastore and then only we can create our catalogs. So if I go back to my account console and I click on create Metastore, I need to first provide a name for my Metastore. So I'd give it as Azure Central India. Now I'll select the region as Central India. Now it is recommended to create only one Metastore per region. And this is why I specified the name of my region in the Metastore so that we can specifically identify this Metastore. The next option that you see is ADLS Gen 2 path. Now this is optional, but it's a good practice to provide the ADLS path of a storage account where you are going to store your data for this particular Metastore. Now, if you hover on this question mark, you can find the same detail. It says that this is the default location for storing your managed table across the catalogs. So we need to first create a storage account in order to store this data. Now, in order to do that, I'll go back to my Azure portal. I'm in my Azure portal. Now, in order to create a storage account, we'll go to storage accounts and we will click on create. Now, the first thing we need to do is we need to change the resource group. So I'll change the resource group to our resource group that we created for our Databricks, which is Ease with Data ADB RG. Okay. Next, we need to provide a unique storage account name, which I will select as ADB Ease with Data 01. I'll let the region be Central India, which is also the reason for our meta store. Next, I'll scroll down. I'll let the performance be standard and I'll change the redundancy to local redundant storage. I'll click on next. I'll just scroll down and I'll enable the hierarchical namespace. Now, hierarchical namespace will complement our blob storage with data lake storage gen2 endpoints. I'll scroll down. I'll not change anything here. I'll click on next. Now, we will enable public access for now. So, I'll not change anything. I'll scroll down and I'll click on next. I'll uncheck all the soft delete and the retention period. So this is not required. So I'll uncheck all of them. I'll scroll down and there's nothing to change and I'll click on next. Regarding encryption and this customer manage key will not change anything. We'll click next. And now tags is optional, but I'll provide my own tag, which is owner. And I'll give the value as ease with data. And I'll click on next. So the validation is complete. We can go ahead and create this. So I'll click on create. And it will start the deployment for our storage account. We'll wait for this deployment to complete. Okay, our deployment is complete. It means our storage account is ready. Let's go back to our resource group. So I'll click on home. I'll go to resource group. I'll select my resource group. And now we can see the storage account created. Let's go into the storage account. I'll click on storage browser. I'll click on blob containers. And I'm going to create our first container that we will use for our Metastore. So to add a container, I'll click on add container. I'll give the name as root and I'll click on create. So it will create our container with the name of root. So I'll expand this now and I'll create a directory here. So I'll click on add directory and I'll name the directory as meta store and I'll click on save. So this would be the directory which would be the root for our meta store where all the data for our meta store would be saved. So this would be the directory for that one. Now our storage account is all set up. Now, in order to provide Databricks access to this storage account, we need to create a connector. So for that, we'll go ahead and search for access connector. So you can see this access connector for Azure Databricks. This would be the identity that Databricks would use in order to connect with our storage account. So I'll just select access connector for Azure Databricks. And now we are going to create a new one. I'll click on create. And I'll select our resource group, which is ease with data ADB RG. I'll name the access connector as ADB UC connector and I'll change the location to Central India. I'll click on next and I'll give the same tag which is owner is with data and I'll click on next and I'll let it be whatever it is and I'll click on next. The validation is successful and we'll click on create. And our deployment is also successful. So we'll go back to our resource group first and now we can see our storage account and the connector. So the next thing we need to do is we need to give this 
connector permissions to connect with this storage account. To do that, we'll go into the storage account. We'll click on IAM. Now we need to assign the role. So we we'll click on add. We'll click on add role assignment. And we'll search for storage blob. And we'll select storage blob data contributor and click on next. Now we need to select the manage identity that we created. So we'll click on manage identity and we'll click on members. We'll go ahead and select access connector for Databricks and we'll select the access connector that we just created. So we'll select ADB UC connector and we'll click on select. Now that access connector is selected. Let's click on review and assign and we'll click on review and assign. And this will assign the access connector contributor role in order to access that storage account and the blob container that we created. Now we are all set up in our Azure portal. Let's go back to our account console. So I'm back in my account console. So the next thing we need to do is we need to provide the ADLS path that we just created. So the container name is root at the rate, the name of our storage account, which is ADB is with data 01. And we need to put dfs.core.windows.net slash the folder name that we created, which is Metastore. Okay, so this is the location where Metastore will store its data. Now we need to provide the resource ID for the access connector that we created. So we'll quickly go back to the access connector. I'll go to the access connector for Databricks and I'll open the ADB UC connector. You can see this resource ID. We'll copy the resource ID from here. We'll go back to account console and we'll paste the resource ID. And now we'll click on create. So our Metastore connection was successful. Now it asks us to assign the workspace. So we already have our workspace created, right? So we'll just go ahead and select the workspace with which we need to attach this, okay? And we'll click on assign. And it says, do you want to enable Unity Catalog? Yes. Awesome. It says, congratulations. We have just enabled Unity Catalog for our workspace. And it also provides you with an example notebook that you can check it out. But I'll close this. I'll go back to my workspace now. I'll open the workspace. And now you can see it says meta store is attached okay and it gives you the path which is the default location for your data storage of the meta store okay so i'll quickly go back to catalog and now you can see the meta store admin is the user which configured it which is ease data which is the user that i'm using right now is the meta store admin and only meta store admin has privileges to work with catalogs so let me go back to my workspace now and now you can still see there is no catalog attached right let me just go back and refresh this workspace now, if you see, we have a lot of difference in the menus. We can see some sample catalogs attached, plus we can see a plus button here. So if I click on this, you can see add a catalog button. So now we can go ahead and create our catalog from this. Okay. And I'm logged in with the same Metastore admin account. So I'm logged in with that ease data user. And this is why I have privilege to create catalog. So if I click on this add catalog, I can go ahead and create my catalog. We are going to create catalog in our next video. But before that, it was just to show you how you can enable or how you can set up Unity catalog with your workspaces. So if I go back to my account console and if I refresh my account console now and if I go back to workspace and if I expand the workspace, you can see the permissions tab is also enabled. So if I expand this, now I can go ahead and add users, groups or service principle to this particular workspace. So congratulations, we have successfully set up and enabled Unity catalog for our Databricks workspace. In our next video, we are going to create our first catalog and we are going to work with different permissions and privileges going forward. Till then. Keep learning, keep growing, keep sharing.